Okay, so today we're gonna make empanadas. Okay? Oh, good, good little. Basically what empanadas are is a Mexican style of, uh, let's see, something that you would probably be familiar with. Let's say like a Hot Pocket type thing or a, um, what do you call it, like a meat, meat pie type thing. One of those. You can actually have meat pies. You can actually do like uh, fillings of like apple strudel type stuff and put apple um, filling in it out, you know, or whatever. It's just sweet. You can time time make it like a sweet pie, you know, um, or you can make it into like a, a savory type thing where it's more of a meats and potatoes or, or like a breakfast thing you could do also as well you could do like breakfast do like some eggs scramble some eggs put some whatever you want in it that you like and then you stuff that into the empanadas empanadas are just basically just a simple like a meat pie type thing or a pie uh held into a little crust a little folded crust thing and then that's what you do it's just a pocket of of, of all kinds of stuff in it all right so the way i'm gonna do it is the way i do it is more of a pay, uh, puff free or paste puff pastry style <laughs> so that's how I kind of make it all right so but the secret in this and that's why I'm kind of looking around real quick is you have to make sure everything is cold you know when you're working with this so like the water cold you freeze it you not freeze it but you put it you get like um, you get a cup of water right and one tablespoon of lemon juice and you just kind of put that together um, and I put it in a freezer for a good uh, at least two hours or something like that. Just put it in the fridge. Don't have to put it in the freezer, but just put it in the fridge. Um, butter. What we're going to do is 14 tablespoons of butter. So basically you count up right here. One, two, three, whatever. There's 16 in each stick. So you're going to not use two of this, two of this tablespoons off of it. Okay. Um, so basically with this, freeze it. Best way to do it is freeze these. You need to freeze these um, two hours at least. Mostly I prefer just go ahead and do it overnight. Just set it in there or just keep some on hand in, in the freezer. Um, so then whenever you want to do something like this, you know, it'd be easier. You just grab two sticks out. I do that. I just keep like a whole uh, four sticks uh, uh, carton thing in there every, every single time. So whenever I want to make it really easy, just there you go. All right. And also we got like a half of a um, teaspoon of salt. All right, what we got here is flour. I went in also the bowl itself. I put in a metal bowl, the flour, and I stuck this in the a freezer. Let it sit there for, for like an hour, you know, or so. You know, just, you want everything cold when you're doing all this. Um, only because you don't really want the butter to melt and just get all over the place. You just, you want it to keep its chunks. That's what's gonna make it flaky. Okay, the important part is to keep, keep keeping the butter cold all the time so that it just makes everything flaky the more colder it is the better it is for, for it to um to be much more flakier all right so what i like i said i got here is flour it's got two and a half cu um, cups of flour in here okay so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, mix this up i'm gonna stick this back in the fridge until i'm ready to use it okay that's like i said before it's always it, it, the important part of it is keep everything cold when you're putting everything together okay your hands are warm okay that's the issue your hands are warm so as you're mixing everything up, <clears throat> excuse me, as you're mixing everything up, it's going to heat everything up. You're trying to keep it all down to a cool temperature. Okay. So let's just go ahead and put this back in the fridge. Okay. Here we go. All right. Like I said before, we just got two and a half cups of flour, right? I'm just going to add the salt. Just make sure all this salt gets in there. It's one, a half a teaspoon of salt, all right? Sometimes it gets stuck in the crevices. That's why I kind of put my finger in there. <laughs> All right. All right. We just go ahead and do that. We're just going to mix it in really quickly like that. Just, just incorporate the salt in there. Make sure it's all incorporated really good. All right. All right. Put that to the side. All right. So at this point, what we're going to do is get yourself a cheese grater, right? And all we're going to do is you're going to stick your cheese grater into the flour. Because basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these, the sticks, as it's frozen, and you're going to just shave it. Just get shavings of it. You got little shavings of butter. Be careful, don't scrub your knuckles. And keep the paper on it because you don't want your hands to be touching the butter very much. It's only because that way you don't, 
you're not melting the butter all up. So every so often, every so often you'll just do that and just incorporate it into the flour. Just kind of mix it in. Just make sure it's got a good coating of flour. Just keep going at it. Of course, towards the end, you're gonna you're gonna have to touch it, but you're trying to do as less as much as possible. Just as less as possible. That's all. Okay, and here we go. Like I said, we're just incorporating it all. Make sure it's got a good coating on the butter. Just cutting. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and add this water. I got it back from the uh, from the fridge. Cold water mixed in with the lemon, right? Just gonna keep adding a little bit of this at a time. Just get it all incorporated. Really good. All right. So that's basically all I'm doing. I'm trying to. You put a little bit at a time. You don't want. It. You're not trying to melt it, you're just trying to get it mixed into a dough. That's why you don't want to add too much at a time. You just, at the end, we'll just go ahead and add a little bit at a time. I'm just trying to get it going. That's why I went ahead and added some. I'm just trying to, I'm not pushing and grabbing and stuff. I'm just kind of moving it around, you know, until it starts forming. I want to keep those, those bits and pieces of the butter. Um, Separate. And I'm just kind of grabbing the bottom, the, the floury part. I'm just grabbing the flour and I'm just kind of pushing, you know, throwing up on top, you know, kind of incorporate that way. Okay. I'm gonna end up having to make it a dough, but I'm gonna wanna still wanna make sure it's kind of separated a little bit as I mix it in. Okay. Alright. All right, so let's just go ahead and pour this onto the table here. I know it's gonna be messy, a little bit. I'm just trying to grab all the dry stuff and make sure the dry stuff's all incorporated. Start working the dry stuff into the, the or the wet stuff into the dry. You're gonna be good. Here we go. So this way, it's good to have a good area, a good workspace area. And I, I've already cleaned off the tabletop here, so that's. that's not to worry about, you know, hey, I'm just putting on a dirty countertop. Nah. I'm trying to get smudges only because that butter is starting to try to melt. I'm trying to get it all together before it starts melting too much. picking up some what I can. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna form it into a, back into a ball. There we go. 
go. So at this point, we're gonna wrap this up into some plastic wrap. I know this is everybody's hard part right here, using this. All we wanna do is put it in some and just put it in there. Then we can just form it. So all we're gonna do is just form it. Just so it keeps it all in there. All right, so now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put this in the fridge. Put it in the fridge for an hour. That'll, what you're trying to do is harden back up the butter, okay? That's all we're doing with that, okay? Okay, here we go. Took it out, about an hour. You can kind of see, if you look real close, you can kind of see the um, the butter that's all in there, all mixed in. So what we're gonna do is we're going to divide these out. I went ahead and got me another little bowl. I went ahead and put it back in the freezer just to get it cold, to get that bowl cold. So I'm just gonna divide this out into little There we go. All right. I'm just gonna cut this in half. Right. Just gonna divide these out. All right. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna make little balls. What we're gonna do is see how these are smaller. So we're just gonna make them try to get them all even size, okay? Grab some of that, put it in there, make it into a ball. The reason why I'm trying to, I'm just gonna throw them into there. So you don't make them perfectly the same size, that's okay. You'll have some ones that are a little bit bigger than the others, that's all right. You just put more, you put more, more meat in that one. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right. So at this point, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna see about rolling them out. Okay, like I said before, we're gonna see about rolling them out. But like I said before, what we're gonna do is just dust it lightly. Right. I'm not not doing much because I don't want to. Anytime you want to roll stuff out, we're just gonna do that. If we just want to, with your rolling pin. Gonna roll out a little bit. Just we're not gonna roll them out thin like we did tortillas. I showed my video on my tortillas, but we don't want to roll them out that thin. We just want to just try to get them into a circular size, right? So you can see in the you can see all the butter all in it. We're just trying to get them in a good even size. The whole thing. All right, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so let's talk about um, fillings. Okay, so we got about that, right? Let's say we gotta fill it up with something, right? So we talked about before that we did, uh, you could do pie fillings and things like that or whatever, you know. Um, what I did, what I'm gonna do is, I've got some barbacoa I made the other day, um, it's two days ago, so so good and everything like that. So what we're gonna do is we can just reuse that. I'll link my barbacoa video. And so well, I'm gonna fill it up with that and put some in there and I'll show you how they look, you know, once we do that, okay? So it's basically just the thing you do. You just grab it, you know, stretch out a little bit. So you kind of want them, and if you want, you can use your fingertips like that, see? If you don't want to go too much, thin, too thin. There you go, All right? So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is grab some Another another thing. All right, so this is cold, right? We make sure everything is cold. With your barbacoa, don't heat it up. Just keep it, you know, out of the fridge. It's cold, you know. 
it's still cold or just cool it down, make sure it's all cooled down. Okay, that's one of the things I'm gonna do. That you don't want it to heat, you know, because you're trying to keep the butter from melting. And that's why you're just put a good scoop in there, you know, however you can fit it in there. You're good. And if you need to take some out, then take some out. You know, it's like, ah, a little bit too much. Then just take a little bit out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it over, right? And then you're gonna pinch, just enough so you can pinch it that way. That's why, that's how much you wanna, as far as how much of a filling do I put under, just make sure you do a pinch, like that. Okay, so what we do is, you can pinch, 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 do the best you can. What you're trying to do is pinch and then fold it over like that. So it's pinch and fold over. So pinch, fold it over, pinch it again, fold over that pinch, Fold over that pinch, fold over that pinch, so you're pinching and then folding it over. And at the end, you just kind of pinch that way. Okay, so it looks like that. Not perfect, but hey, you do what you can, right? You do your best. Sometimes you'll get like a little hole in it, that's okay, just kind of move the dough a little bit to kind of close that up. Right, not perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do then, is we're just gonna put them on some parchment paper that just lay them down okay so we're just gonna go through them we're just gonna go through them and kind of fill them up all right Okay, I ran out of barbacoa, right? That's okay. I had some other stuff too, some other meat and stuff. This is gonna be a mixture. What this is, is uh, this is a mixture of ground beef I made. Uh, ground beef, I did some peppers and some onions, and I just kind of just cooked it all up. Um, that's about it. So I'm gonna put that in the rest of them as well, see? Just use whatever you got. Like I said, you know, whatever kind of meats and stuff, you make something all up, a uh, mixture of stuff. You know, use that up, okay? Be a surprise. There'll be surprises. That's what they are, little presents. All right, so here we go. So what probably we'll do is, is they'll grab some of that, all right? And they'll put some under. Hey, back in there. Too much. There. So what they'll do is fold it over. Like, I don't know how to do the pinching thing. That's all right. So what people do, okay, so what people do is you can also just grab a fork and just do pinch like that. See how you're doing it? Don't tear into it. You don't want to tear. You be careful not to tear into it. You just kind of go on the side and you kind of pinch down. You push down on it. And that's another way they, they do where they pinch it, okay? So that's just another way, and then you just gotta roll it off slowly. So that way, you're not worried about the folds, you're not doing any of that, and see, it still comes together. All right, there we go. We got them all set, right? So all I did here is I just went ahead and just grabbed an egg and beat it, because I'm gonna, just gonna do a coating on the, each one of these. It'll give it that nice little golden color. So I'm just gonna kind of paint, look how I wash these. Just like over it. I'll give it a nice golden crisp color, crispy, uh, shiny. There we go. All right. As you can tell, <laughs> they're not perfect. You know, they're different sizes. There's this, there, you know, that's, I don't know what kind of shape that is. Like, like a seashell, I guess, whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You know, you, you do what you can, right? You know, like I said, these are yours, right? Nobody's gonna eat it. Nobody's gonna know, except for you, right? You're eating them. 
or your family, right? Who cares? It's good what's inside and good on the, the, the pastry puff itself. It's all gonna be good food, so who cares, right? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we get the oven, we get the oven over there set for 350 degrees, okay? All we're gonna do now is pop them in there. Okay, so we popped them in there. And so all we gotta do now is wait between 50 to 60 minutes. I got a 350 degree oven, like I said, 50 to 60 minutes. You're basically starting to look at it. I would say start looking at it. It, it depends on the oven itself, right? You have different ovens. So in that, you're going, it's, it's all dependent on yourself, right? Or as far as your oven and, and the humidity and stuff like that in your area, right? So in that, what we're gonna do is you'll start looking at it about 45 minutes and just keep watching it as it turns brown and golden brown, you know, and then once you got that golden brown color, then you're ready to go, right? You can do your hiccup? No. <laughs> All right, got my, got, my, got my gloves on. Here we go, we ready? Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm not really too worried about this brown part here. It was darker, that's just, that's just juices and stuff that cooked off of it. Overflow. Overflow, yeah, juices. I'm so Look at that. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get this thing plated. Let's get this thing plated and get going on it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Puff, puff pastry or uh, empanadas using the puff pastry dough, um, my style of how I do it. Um, look at that. Nice. You can get some sour cream, you know, as well. So you get this bitter thing, you just kind of, just kind of get some and put it in there like that. You know, just coat it. Nice bite. Ah, oh, nice. Nice and crispy. Excuse me. Nice and crispy and crunchy on the outside and you got these little flakes. Look at that. Just kind of flakes off. Well, there you go. Enjoy making them.